Good morning. We are on our last day of super warm weather. It doesn't mean we're not going to be mild again. It's just the 70s uh, and uh, mid 70s might be our last day of that this season. We'll see, but let's talk about what we've got going on out there today. It's quiet on our Swim Team SkyCam network and we're looking at clear skies to begin our morning. Temperatures are really quite warm for this time of year. We our average high in Fargo is about 55, 54 degrees on this date and it's 57 right now uh, at uh, four or five in the morning. Looking at uh, Grand Forks, we're at 47 and we're in the low to mid 50s in Lakes Country. Checking out the wind speed and direction, we've got some winds that are into the teens, others up north where it's a little bit cooler. You can see the difference that makes where winds are a little bit lighter there, less than 10 miles per hour. Your tri-state view has uh, mostly uh, clear skies for much of the region. We are nice and quiet here uh, this, uh, smor this morning. We will see those winds pick up by the time we get to the 9 o'clock hour on your hour-by-hour hour planner. Mostly sunny skies with uh, temperatures that are into the 50s. As we get into the noon hour, we're looking at some 60s ahead and some strong winds gusting into the 30s to 40 miles per hour. And getting into the afternoon, we'll be into those low to mid 70s coming up for later on. So uh, really nice and mild for us on uh, the or in the middle or getting closer to the second half of October. Wind strong against steady speeds that are in the 20s with some gusts that are into the 30s coming up. And some of us seeing some wind gusts topping 40 miles per hour coming up for later on tonight. Mostly cloudy skies where we do start to see some clouds rolling in for later on. Temperatures should be mild this evening for any Friday night plans. Even around 11 o'clock, we're still in the 60s. And those winds gusting still very strong overnight. And that means, of course, that we've got some very mild weather tomorrow. The wind's still out of the south, helping to reinforce those warmer temperatures. By 7 a.m., some 50s to some low 60s. And then the chances for rain roll in. We've been talking about this, that possibility for some scattered to isolated areas of rain on Saturday. And this is what our latest model run is showing us. Some rain showers to the east, a break in between that and then another round out west. Some of us will be impacted more significantly than others by this round of rain. Some places may only just see a couple of sprinkles. It really just depends on how this sets up tomorrow. By 3 o'clock, some of us in that drier pocket getting into the 60s, but a lot of places will be into the 50s for highs for your day tomorrow with uh, some rain showers rolling through. That quickly lifts out of here, and we're looking at some quieter weather ahead for your sat or Sunday and, and Saturday night for that matter. Still a little breezy though, Saturday evening. Rainfall potential through Saturday night. Expect not much. We're looking at just a little bit of rain, some light rain showers to some sprinkles. And we're all in the light blue area, which is that less than half inch range here in the Red River Valley. Maybe a little bit more uh, over to the east, but generally speaking, we're looking pretty quiet here. Uh, for the weekend for our first rain chance we've seen in some time and checking out your photo love this one the harvest this is a soybean sunset in Anetta. thank you uh, Anne, for sharing this uh, awesome photo it's just really pretty those pastel colors as well so checking out your planner tomorrow again a chance for a few showers coming up into Sunday, we will be quieter. Temperatures around 60 degrees, which is still mild. It's just not the 70s, and I think we've kind of gotten used to that this week. Ahead to next week, that's when some really big changes start to happen. We're looking at a chance for some showers on Monday. And then Tuesday through Thursday, just cool. Some 40s on the way uh, for a couple of our daytime highs. So we're going to get a little dose of reality coming up for this week or the, this next week ahead. It's been nice though. We've had four days this week here where we've enjoyed 70 degree temperatures. So we're really, we've been pretty lucky. Pretty spoiled, yeah. I think. It's been awesome though. Thank you, Lisa. From sci-fi and comics to gaming, one annual convention is bringing it all under one roof for the whole family this weekend. We'll have more on ValleyCon next.